What's up, y'all? It's your boy Smurz One, and this is my two cents. Hit that like button right now. Do that right now. Today's graph writer shout out goes to the homie Static from Chicago. He's down with the RK crew and he's been putting it down since the 90s. Um, Static is one of those graph artists that can paint a little bit of anything with spray paint. Um, he's real dope with figures and faces and, and capturing kids. Um, he's done murals all over the city of Chicago and um, in other states. Um, check him out, he's dope. I'm gonna leave a link to his Instagram and his Facebook down in the description. You know, hit him up if you need some artwork done, if you need some murals done for your business. He's one of those men that can get it done. So, um, once again, peace to the homie Static. One love. All right, y'all. Today we're gonna do a review on the homie Voice the Five Nine from Detroit. Um, the name of his new album is called Allegory. Allegory is like a, a subliminal message story, like a story that's has a subliminal meaning to it and i guess he tried to capture this from his 22 track album this is a full album ain't no ep ain't no short album either dude went all the way in what mix in between the songs and the skits it comes out to 22 tracks but um i think it's dope and i really like the um the work that worst the five nine has been putting out over the past few years his last album was the book of ryan and that was dope i think that album should have got a grammy but you know like he said who gives a fuck about grammys but it was it was just a dope album and then now he comes back with this a backup punch to this album you know allegory i think i think he's on something he's on something else this is all work is starting to make a shift his rhymes and you know he's calling himself the goat on this album um i would say goat but he's really standing out with the type of work that he's been putting out lately um out of i would say out of the 22 songs on this with well, the 22 tracks on this album i like a hard seven to eight songs like really like bam 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 and the way he sequenced the album they all kind of hit like bam 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 uh, one of the dopest songs on there that I like is um, a, a song called Thou Shall. The beat just got this sinister feel to it. Um, he got a feature on there with this dude, Kid something. Check it out. That's dope. He has another song with the all-star feature list with T.I., um, you know, uh, Saha the Prince. And who else on that song? Um... Some other people's called Black Savage, but they got a video for that song too. That's dope. And and out of these songs, Royce even trickles some some knowledge in these songs. You know, it seems like everybody is starting to get on this black awareness stuff in they in they album it, albums and it's dope because it's much needed. And Royce wasn't holding his tongue either. Um on one of the songs, his wordplay is nasty. Wait, let me see. Um I play forever like Royce said I'm about to flip this this wordplay on y'all shorties like this how you rap and the way he was just flipping his word plays and, and playing with his syllables that's what MCs do and that's what real rhyming do and and to hear him say all right I'm gonna take this whole verse and flip these the same type of rhyme pattern over these same um syllables um words to put it together is dope so if you want to hear some real rapping check out I play forever that's dope he has another skit on that standout called Ice Cream. And it's basically, a, well, it is a skit where he, well, he, you know, they drop knowledge in there telling us the history of the Ice Cream Man song. You know, the song that comes on the ice cream truck when it's going, you know, block to block. That's been, it's a racist song. We, some people never knew that, but I like how he highlighted that in the album. And he has other, um, other, google moments he tell people to google dope two is he has some skits from Derek grace i don't know if you know who Derek grace is but he's this father that's training his kids 
with the utmost survival skills and knowledge of self. Um, he teaches his kids about how to shoot guns, how to speak different languages, and also is giving them jewels on financial literacy. And he's, he trickles he trickles some skits in from some of his sessions that, that Derek Grace um, posted videos of his kids online about. Um, check that out. I think it was on the on the second track. He has a skit and then down further in the album He has some skits with Derek Grace and his kids. That's dope. Another song um, Called tricked he got this boy crooked eye when well, I'm crooked eye what is, what is his name? Is it crooked eye? Crooked King crooked he changed his name it used to be crooked eye something like that he changed his name now he now he's King crooked that's what song because he's dropping knowledge on that too basically saying how this society has been has been tricking us to do certain things just for a come up you know so yeah we all tricked on like like you said you tricked to spend the money on this on that you tricked to think you trick that you think you need this but you don't need that is that's that's just a dope song and the beat kind of rock too and the sample in the background um all this production on here is crispy the mix is crispy the beats is, is perfect for you know most of the songs on here he had a couple of little off songs he had some songs with Griselle that I wasn't really feeling um I don't know but I think he could have could have saved those songs but as a whole I like the album a lot um Royce has been around since the mid 90s um Bad Me's Evil was I think his first major release with Eminem they had a song back in like I want to say like 97 96 it's maybe 97 98 ish and that's when I first peep Royce the 5'9 and he's just been banging out stuff since so he's been in the game for over 20 years which is crazy but um check out the album Royce the 5'9 Allegory it's been out for maybe about a week maybe a week and a half now so tell me what you think in the comments and Thanks to everybody who's been checking out the episodes. Please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if it's your first time seeing this video. You're going to hear some more dope shit from your boy Smurfs. Hey, thanks for checking me out. And I'll holler at y'all on the next episode. Peace. My two cents.